My thumbnails are the worst. I really have to work on those. Hey, thanks for the likes, guys, already. All right, so I am going to open up all of these Barbies today. Are they all Barbies? Some are WWE. Some of them are Barbies. Some of them are awesome. They're all awesome. This guy likes them. Hey, Joey, thanks for coming. Hey, Luna, thanks for coming back. Hey, Rachel, thanks for coming back. I got distracted. I was thinking about making some merch. So I was in one of those merch making places and I might actually make some merch, maybe. If not, just to wear for myself. Let's get this camera all set up. We're opening up so many Barbies today. Catalina's in the house. She loves to play Barbies. And Crazy Toys is here. Hey, oh yeah, I love that Naomi. That Naomi is awesome. I have a lot of these, these Naomi's. She's going to be losing her head. But I thought I do so many head replacements. This girl's going to be one of them. I don't think I have the right skin tone. I might have to go get my extra bodies to see which is the right skin tone for her. But I need to open up my nurses and doctors and all medical scientist staff that we need every time that we do a beheading and body swap. So I thought I would bring them in. Um, hello, Brazil. Thanks for coming in, everyone from Brazil. Emmanuel, thanks for joining us. I think the Toot Toot Driver's police car has Justin Fletcher's voice on it. Who is Toot Toot Drivers? I don't know who Toot Toot Driver is. Whoa, look at my hair today. All right, and this guy, thanks you so much for your likes. Thank you so much for your likes. All right, get out of the way now. So I'm just going to start getting the doctors open, and there we're going to see what's going on here with these. Um, it looks like these two are from the same collection, as you can see on the back. One is an eye doctor, but she can come in very handy with these, um, head surgeries. And then this one is a scientist? Scientist, that's right. And this is an optometrist, which they called an eye doctor, which is kind of interesting, but in other languages... You can see the optometrist word. And then we have this one from the 30th anniversary, kind of, but kind of not. It was right the 35th anniversary. I don't even remember how old Barbie is. Oh, 60th. <laughs> Barbie is 60 years old. And that's that collection, except a separate collection came out afterwards that was... That was... That was specifically 60 years. And they came out really close together, which was really unusual. We're just going to break open this. It appears that medical staff tend to have curvy bodies. So that's kind of what happens, apparently. But they're cute girls. They're blonde. They look smart and sophisticated. Hey, Speech Fairies, thanks for coming back. Hey, Anna, thanks for joining us. Hey, Early Morning Gray, thanks for coming in. The scientist has lovely face. The scientist does have a lovely face. I think that was my deciding factor. I just got her recently, but she had freckles and she's cute. I wonder if I'm going to put these girls through exercise regimes themselves, or are they just going to be the medical staff? I don't know. And I'll have to break out my other medical staff outfits. They also, curvy girls do work in the medical profession, and they also wear the same shoes. I guess you might get them at the, you know, the uniform store. <clears throat> So, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of really excited about this top that comes with her. This is all separates, so this is a pretty sweet... And you can't have too many extra pairs of these black horn rim glasses because they are a sweet, sweet thing that you just can't get enough of. I know that my Alexa Bliss likes them. 
She needs her own pair. Here, let's just take those off. She's way too excited. Let's just take these ones off of her right now without breaking them, without cutting her hair. And we'll give them right away to Alexa. These are different, actually. I did not expect that. They're not as they're not as thick as the ones I have on Mini Me. Wonder if you'd be able to see the difference. I mean, you can't really see the difference, but they're different. They're more hip, even more hipstery. Just stand here or there. Um, Justin Fletcher is also on TV. Rachel, what are you? What is all this? What are what are you talking about today? Are you giving us a play-by-play -play of what's happening while you flip your remote control channels? I'm gonna need. Look at all these guys. Look at all these tough guys around here. There's so much tough action going on. Yeah, they they love your likes. Thanks for your likes, guys. Okay, guys are so nice to give some likes. I got to get the right pliers so I can pull none of these. The last pair of pliers I pull out are the right ones. So I can pull these tabs out of her head. Oh, so much better than using your teeth. Get the hair out of the way. When you do that, it's better than cutting them off because then you don't have that stuff inside her head. Not that it would really matter, but sometimes... There's little things left over pokey pokey, but if you get a good grip on these, you can pull them out completely. And then there's no little sharp things to get caught or anything. All right, so this is the Nikki. Let's see if it's a good painted Nikki. She looks pretty good. I always like Nikki's face. She looks real good. You know what? She looks so much like one of those new basics that I have. I guess that is the head that they used. Hey, Leah, thanks for coming. Lena, thanks for coming in. Had to go back and give my like. Oh, thanks for the likes. Yeah, and Booby's in the house too. I hope he liked the video. Thanks for the like. We have a whole medical team that we're opening. And then next up is this girl. And I'm a big fan of this girl. I guess I like her so much that I bought her twice. And apparently they always make her curvy. And I didn't even, well, I kind of knew. I kind of suspected that I already had her. And by the time that I returned to the States, she became readily available in Canada. And she also, I, it was too late for me to return her. So I guess I have doubles of her. But it doesn't mean I don't like her medical outfit. Okay, that time... I pulled out the tab, but it's stuck in her head, so I've still got a pointy little thing poking out of her head. Let me try to get this. Ugh. Nope, these tabs aren't made aren't made as strong. But I really like her platinum-y blonde hair. It's really light, and I like her face. I am a big fan of this face mold, because it is a fuller face, and it looks really good on the WWE bodies. But she's curvy. She has a stethoscope and i always forget the name of the stethoscope i want to say stethoscope but it's a stethoscope and it's got the big ear ones it doesn't have the ones that go poke into the ears looks like it's a new variety that goes over the ears i don't know if i don't know if it's going to stay there or not but yeah i don't know if i could get that to balance or not her hair is very light but also super crimp from being in the box I wonder if all the lab coats are exactly the same. I don't know, but if we take out this scientist here, we can see that she has the best lab coat, in my opinion. She also has the old tab, so I think I will be able to, yes, successfully pull those out of her head. Yeah, those came out perfectly. She's got a sweet, sweet pair of goggles, which I'm going to have to try on. And her lab coat isn't stitched with pink, 
like the other girls. So pink, pink, see that? Pink, pink. This one, this is full on white, super not, not pink specific. Not that I have a problem with the color pink. I'm a huge fan of the color pink. Hey, Beverly, thanks for coming in and joining us. Hey, Jennifer, thanks for coming in. Hey, anybody else I missed and didn't say hello to? Hey, Val T. And, wow, all these doctors come with separates, which is really, really sweet. These are sweet bonuses. Whoa, look at those pants. Oh, my goodness. These are curvy laggings, actually. I've never seen those before. What to the what? We're going to have to see how well those fit on the WWE girls. All right. Let me take these goggles down. I guess if you're in the medical profession, you can wear laggings to work. Scrubs are like the, the original comfortable pants. But I guess now yoga pants are kind of what people wear today. So... I assume doctors and nurses wear yoga pants. I haven't been I haven't been to a hospital in a very long time. I guess I should have wore a lab coat today to do this. I don't know if anybody's head is going to come off today because I do like to heat their heads now. Before I didn't heat their heads, but that was mostly I guess in the summertime where it wasn't needed as much. Oh, there's little accessories that are pinned to the inside of these packages. We got a an, an eye scooper. That's to scoop your eyeball out with. So that'll come in handy. And then we have this microscope. That's to look at, I don't know. I guess we have to see how good the blood can mix between the donor, the body donor and the head donor. And that is the stethoscope. Not in black, like the other accessories. And does that have anything back here? No, no. Here's the background of, of that card. Do you remember what profession that was? Here's the background of this card. Do you remember what profession that was? And here is the background of this card. Do you remember what profession that was? Let's put those... Let's get those out of the way. I always wish that I had my recycling bags standing by but i never do you know what i'm gonna have to get a poo bell to put down here a french garbage can i get some other trash here too so let's just put that out of the way and this is the nicest lab coat so far it doesn't have that pink in it so it definitely makes it more versatile i wonder if one of the holograms could wear this as a white overcoat. I guess it would pretty much always look medical. What do you think? Do you think you could dress up or dress down this jacket and make it look like a stylish, regular white jacket or not? What's your opinion on that? And, and the collar is finished on this jacket, the one that came with her. And on this newer medical Barbie, well, I guess she's a scientist. Her collar actually isn't finished. It's just cut. So that's that's not cool. It's pink. It's not cut. It's elastic banded it on. I like that elastic banded it has become a word. I talk about that a lot, but Wait, let's take off her lab coat. And let's also take off Nikki's lab coat. Have you seen what she looks like with it on? I think I showed everybody's shoes. I didn't, might not have shown Nikki. Nikki has a much better pair of shoes. She doesn't have flat feet with the same, you know, uh, what's the word? There's a word. There's a word when you have a standard outfit selection that you have to wear. Oh, what is that word? Forget. 
All right, so now I'm going to take off the lab coat. And it's made with a thinner cotton, actually, but at least it's finished. Not uniform, but close. It's like it's issued when you when it's called like an issued outfit used for military and and also like professions, blue collar professions. Um, there we go. Like standard issue, something like that. Anyway. Finished collar, thinner cotton. I kind of like how this cotton fi feels. These are really thick canvases, very much the same. Again, this one has a finished collar. This one does not have a finished collar. It's just cut. And it also has the pink stitching. The award winner of the nicest lab coat goes to this one. Secondly is this one. It's even branded with Barbie. And then third, even though it is really nice material and it's made very well, it's very unusual that it's not finished at the collar. And let's take a look at their outfits underneath. They're all wearing separates. I mean, she's wearing a dress. I'll be curious to see if this dress can fit on a WWE body. Let's check that out. And I like this. I'm not sure who would wear a skirt that looks like this. At least not with this black top, but this black top might come in very handy. And then this maternity wear, I don't know how I feel about it, except that it looks like maternity wear. I don't really like the color blue um, for laggings. And then weird, it's they kind of clash with these taupe shoes and the navy blue pants and then we've got do we've got and then we've got like a taupe shirt some orange i mean it's got a very scientific pattern if you look up close like i mean that looks like all kinds of things that happen in the science world so i mean that's an interesting choice i do like her face her haircut is a little prissy but that is perfect for such a smarty pants profession the dolls are worth it just for the outfits. I really like all three of those outfits. Well, considering I got most of these for, I don't know, she was like $6. I think these two, oh, she was four. And I paid too much for her because she was brand new when I bought her. But I did buy her at Walmart in the States. So she was around seven US. But let's uh, steal their outfits. Should we um, should we have Alexa try them on? No, I think we'll get in some other girls that have head head swaps. So we'll see what we can do. Oh, you know what? But first, before we do bring out those, let's open up this. These this is the nicest fashion pack I have ever seen in my entire Barbie existence. Oh, except for the new Rockstar set, which comes with this many outfits as well. I definitely, I don't think, I think that Rockstar set has only shown up in Canada. Anyway, I got this on a super sale. It was $12.50, plus I got an additional 25% off. And I got this at a toy warehouse here in Canada. But I am super excited about these outfits. Whoa, this one's even crazier than ever. I really hope that these look good on the WWE bodies, even though they're made for curvies. What? Holy moly. Cockadoly. Okay, this skirt I can tell right now is going to look good on any size. Can you guys even see this skirt? It's black. It's shiny. This is amazing. Okay. And then we got this black dress that apparently has super high slits. So you definitely have to wear something underneath that. That was a really cool surprise. And then, like, yeah, and then this skirt is definitely thinner than some of the skirts we've been getting, like a pencil skirt, and it is in fluorescent green-yellow. Again, really awesome for my 80s Gem and the Holograms. We got a printed T-shirt, something that I'm not usually a fan of, but this one's pretty simple. And uh, I think that a lot of girls could get away with wearing that. That's really nice. A white simple top, a few fluorescent pink stripes in it. And what else did she got going on? She's got flat feet. 
just like my other curvy dollies that are being opened today. And then, ooh, I really like this purse design too. It is translucent and it is like sparkly. It's not the same box clutch that we've been opening lately with the prints on them, but it is real nice. And she's got matching shoes. Wow, this is an amazing set. Um, in translucent pink as well, a little pair of sneakers. Oh, she face planted. Are you okay? Sorry I made fun of your pants. And, uh, and then, what else does she got in here? She's got this other hat on. Let's see how this, this might actually fit the mini me even better than mine because I've been using this WWE hat. Let's see, let's, let's bring me in here. Oh yeah, that fits so much better. It is his whole head. You don't have to squeeze it on, it sits in there. Does it look, yeah. What? I mean, I do like how this one looks, but it can pop off every once in a while. Yeah, 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 no. No, 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 this is, this is the hat from now on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Even though it does kind of look funny, but I guess I could just put it on. Let's see. Let's see here. Does it look good? Yeah, I guess it looks it looks kind of big, but I don't know. Maybe a cross in between. Hey, Vanessa, thanks for coming in and giving the video a like. You're so awesome. Thanks, everyone, for coming and giving the video a like. I did not know about this hat. It's... It does look kind of it does look kind of big for him, but it's still cool. It makes his head look small. I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to fix it up and see. I'm ta talking about the deluxe fashionista. What are you saying about her, Anna? Um, at Leisure Outfit sells fantastic set. <laughs> um, I'm talking about the deluxe. Well, I don't know what you said about it. Oh no! Oh no! Whoops, Vanessa, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to hide your post. I accidentally pressed the wrong button. But thanks for your likes anyway. Um, goes over the hair better. It definitely goes over the hair better. I think I think this is good. Let's see how it looks when you see a little forehead going on here. And then he kind of looks like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle with it on. I don't know what that's about. Anyway, let's, let's take off my hat because I was doing all right today with my hair. And I'll just stay better. Oh, whoa. My, these glasses just fell apart. I think I broke them earlier. Yeah, it's okay. I have like six pairs of these But these are the only ones standing by here. Okay, let's just uh, Pull myself together. All right. Can you get out of the way, please? Back to this girl Okay All right All right, and she's got some pretty nice shoes on I've never seen these shoes before, so really crazy. And then she's got this dress on, so it's like this mesh, and it's good that it has something underneath it, unlike the one that came with the Rockstar. And something that's crazy... ...is that her hair is so purple. And you can't really tell in the box, but when you get her out, it's super duper purple, and that means that she's one of the good ones, because I do like the the ones with the colored hair, and again, she has the same head mold as this girl, and it is one of my favorite head sculpts, because it's just such a nice full face, and it's very pretty, and it looks really, really good on the WWE bodies, because it's one of the bigger heads. I like the small hat better on him. Yeah, I think I do too, but I'll just have to do some experimenting and see. I mean, if the hat's not going to pop off all the time, I'm just going to have to go with the larger hat. Um, Poor Jaden Turtles. Is Jaden here? <laughs> poor Jaden. Jaden, I have so many turtles to open if you are here. Is he around? Did he say hello? Because... But I'm afraid that by the time that I do open some turtles, he'll never come around again. 
I have so many turtles to open. Okay. Wow, her hair is so soft. The thing about Barbies and Mattel, no matter if it's a budget doll or not, they'll always have the softest, best quality hair on them. Wow. You know how I talk about not liking the color purple? Um, well, I mean, the movie's really good, but the the actual color purple, um, I usually don't like it, but I like this. I like it a lot. I guess there's something else going on in here. It's kind of wine, and I think there's brown mixed in or something. It, it looks really cool. It's kind of like, you know, when you had a hair, hairdressers always have crazy hair colors like this because there was always experimenting. Okay, so that's what this mess dress looks like. We're going to have to rip this off and try it on a WWE body, and we're going to have to see if it looks good. So perhaps all of these girls are going to have to give up their jobs until they can also be head swapped. We might head swap her today. wonder if I can find a hair dryer or something. Here is the purse that came with her, and it's a nice classic bag. I mean, she came with some of the nicest clothing I've ever seen. Let's hope that it's not only good for curvies. But does it really matter? Because all the fashion packs that we buy today fit curvies anyway, too. So you know what? They're probably going to fit just as well. Let me put this into here. Let me check down under here for some medical stuff. Hey, if you haven't given the video a like yet, give it a like. Let him remind you. Give the video a like. And I'm just looking down here. Oh, I'm gonna pull up. I'm gonna pull up some dollies. I think we're going to take out. Do, do, do. We're not gonna do the Barbie and the Rockers because. The Barbie and the Rockers always get their day jobs. So, I mean, they, their night jobs... Hmm. Should the Barbie and the Rockers moonlight as head-swapping scientists, though? I wonder. What do you think of that? Or... Or should we just have our own medical team? I actually think that this group of girls would actually make a really good medical team, to tell you the truth. Let's see what you guys are saying. Anna's talking to Rachel. Where's Dr. Cullen? Oh, Dr. Cullen should be around here. You are right, Anna. Um, mahogany hair. Mahogany is exactly what color it is. Jason, stop timing me out that's not fair oh sorry about that vanessa thanks for your likes um beverly the fashionistas are really nice the black skirt is chic shiny it will look great on wwe girl it certainly will um vanessa he said he pressed the wrong button yes i'm sorry vanessa and i'm sorry rachel and rachel thank you for correcting my my mistakes sorry vanessa it's not him the error um erogies are always held for review. I usually allow them. Yes, I tried to allow it, and then I, like, clicked off it. It's very it's very sad. You do get a little carried away with your emojis, Vanessa, though. You have to say that. But thank you for all those likes and those reminders for the likes. You guys are awesome. Oh, yeah, likes and views. Thanks for coming in, guys. Okay, so she just looks like a crazy doctor. So I think she's going to be perfect for the medical staff. And I think astronaut Barbie... She kind of looks perfect as a medical staff. And, I mean, she's the same girl, so she can totally put on the dress. If you haven't checked out my review of these four, what are they called? Toy Story 4 fashions, you definitely have to check that out. Apparently, I'm the only one who's gotten all four of them. Everybody else is having a very hard time finding this suit. So, oh, actually, I mixed them two up. So it's a combination of this top and this bottom. And that set is very rare. Actually, I only found it once. Actually, that's not true. We did get them in Canada. Do check at your Walmarts if you are looking for the Toy Story fashions. They are available at Canada in Walmart and in the United States. But let's just take off these Toy Story fashions and put them into doctor's uniforms. 
Did you make that made man model yourself? Rachel, did you not see the video where I made this one? Yes. This is this is Owen's head. It's Superman's body. It's a fa Ken Fashion Pack shorts. And now it's a fashionista cap. And the glasses are from I don't know where. Some Barbie accessory set. All right, so let's take off the Toy Story shirt. Always when you take off the a Velcro top or pants, always do the Velcro back up because it's just going to snag some of your other clothes and you don't want that to happen. No, I missed it. Sorry. Oh, well, gee, you're definitely going to have to check out that video. I can't tell you which one it is, but it must be. Oh, yes, I can. It's Superman versus Batman, Batman versus Superman, whatever I called it. And it was called disassembling, reconstructing, something like that. Let me just show you this alien Toy Story skirt again. It is really, really cool. And it's fluorescent green yellow again. So it kind of matches that. Did I swap around? Yeah, I swapped around a few outfits. So it's not, they're not done. I think I actually made all of the outfits look better by swapping them around. The Bo Peep dress is really, really cute, though, and the most versatile, as you can see. Well, I don't know if it's the most versatile. I guess if I was going to talk the most versatile, it would probably be the, the shorts. But this denim skirt is pretty cool, too but it has suspenders. You got a friend, me. You got a friend, me. Whenever I hear that song, I think of that Claire girl from YouTube. She sang that song. She's really cute. Sometimes she sings out of key, but I guess that's still cute. Like, she's not the best singer, to tell you the truth. I mean, I probably shouldn't say anything that bad, that mean. She's just a little girl. She'll probably be a fantastic singer. Her father's a fantastic singer. But, I mean, this stuff takes time. But she makes up for it in charisma. The little girl is a natural. All right. There we go. And so articulate. Okay, so we got, we got all of these... These made to move Barbie WWE fashionistas that have the new buff body. They've all been part of the two hunky workout program and they're shredded. They look amazing. So they're going to try on these nurses clothes. So we may as well put this girl who's the, exactly the same girl in the same outfit and see how that transformation goes. It's a pretty tight dress. I think it might work. It doesn't have any uh, Velcro on it, which I kind of prefer when the, the clothes are stretchy. Hey, Big Mike Groove, you can put Team Stacy dolls on WWE bodies. The little boy looks like a woman and looks better on a Sasha Banks body. Where am I supposed to get a Sasha Banks body? Oh, I can put the Team Stacy's heads on... <laughs> I don't know if that's going to work. I really don't know. I guess I'm going to have to try that. The necks look so different. Maybe I'll have to Google that and see. Thanks for bringing that up, though, Big Mike Groove. Because I did not try, and I sent those Stacys away. Or I don't know if I sent them away yet, but I did put them in a parcel to be sent away. That girl in the blue skirt looks like Cinderella. Cinderella, blue skirt. Blue skirt. Do you mean the dress? She kind of does look like Cinderella. And, 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 
could be tighter fitting. What do you think? Do you think this looks okay on her with her new buff body? It has built in like shapely hips, but so you can like puff it up and stuff. I guess it looks okay. It doesn't hang, it balloons. That's the that's the strange thing. What do you think? All right, let's try in some of these other outfits on this nurse. So then we're gonna take, let's see, I think that, well, let's put the darker complected girl in the darker, in, in Nikki's, because we kind of know that it's gonna look good with her skin tone, even though this is the exact same outfit that they gave Barbie. Oh, this is super made really well, really thick elastic. Really nicely made skirt. It's too bad this pattern is not so cute. Um, he loves your emojis, Vanessa. I love your emojis, Vanessa. Thank you so much. Thanks for the likes and all of the love and your emojis. I can see all the love in your emoji. I was watching my froggy stuff. One of her Barbies had it on. Oh, head on this black skirt? It's a good black skirt. Why haven't I tried that on anybody yet? I guess I have to get these nurses, this, these nurse outfits together. Okay, and this t-shirt has a low back V. I didn't know that. What I do like about the t-shirt, again, is that it doesn't have Velcro. Um, it's harder to take the clothes off, and it's harder not to destroy the clothes when you take them off when they don't have the Velcro, but they just look so much more realistic, and and they just seem such better quality without the Velcro, in my opinion. She has really thick, nice material clothes on. These are both really nicely made. Can't think of anybody who could wear that with the turquoise in it. But somebody, somebody from, somebody from Gem and the Holograms are going to put it on. Maybe. Stacy's heads are too small for WWE bodies. I don't know. I think that somebody said that they tried it and it looked okay. Where do you get the WWE bodies from? I get them from Amazon mostly. They're really hard to find in the stores. I did find some dolls in Kmart. Hey, I got some. I, I got one for you. They are now available at five below. You can get, you can get, oh, I forget what her name is, but she has a red dress on. She actually comes with a lot of stuff. You get a deluxe WWE at five below right now. So check out your five belows and see if you can get one. Hopefully they're not all gone. And then Amazon, you can get some pretty good prices on them as well especially if you're in the U.S. And I just heard this crazy thunder. Hopefully, I wonder if, hopefully it's thunder and not some kind of atomic bomb. Oh, oh, this is, this, I'm having a hard time getting this top on. It's even harder to get tops on articulated dolls. You would think that it would be easier because they could bend their joints, but it actually makes things harder. And I am messing up her hair. Oh, oh. oh put your arms up. Oh, it's harder than dressing a two year old, to tell you the truth. Oh. It's coming. That's happening. Get it on. Get it on. Oh, oh, dear Lord. Oh. oh, what else are you guys saying? Um, Vanessa's saying, sorry, Jason, if I offended you with my emojis. If I don't do emojis, my eyes hurt. That's how I talk with emojis because my eyes are painful to see out of. My eyes is painful. I suffer from migraines. I love your emojis, Vanessa. Keep giving them. They make me happy. Don't get migraines. Nobody wants those. The Stacy heads are not too small. Try them and see. I'm going to have to try that, Mike. 
I am going to have to get another Stacy doll and put her head on. I think the boy's head might be a little small for this guy's neck, which it would be hilarious to see him with this jacked, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Let that arm right there be a reminder for you to give this video a like. Thanks for the likes, guys. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> she got it on, finally. All right. So let me just do a little bit of adjusting here. It was really hard for her to get it on, but because she does have such a nice curvy physique that she is filling it out really nicely, um, WWE girls always fill out Barbie clothes much better. Sometimes you have problems, though, getting their arms in this part, though. But not this time. Not with this doll. I heard a cracking. Where's that cracking coming from? I don't like a cracking noise. All right. Now we're going to do the wacko doctor. We may as well put her in this outfit. Let's do that. I am curious to see if these blue stretchy pants will stretch down to a regular sized body. Hey, Dom guy, thanks for coming in. Thanks for giving the video a like. Awesome. Hey, Crazy Toys. Pink um, pleather skirt is very 90s. I would definitely have to agree with that, and I definitely have to like that. I think the shirt that I have on today is very 90s inspired as well. Total thunder in the skies tonight. Let's hope that it's nice and warm. Tomorrow is my birthday, and I don't know what I'm going to be doing. Probably going shopping. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> um, these pants... These pants, they actually fit pretty good. I'd have to say they're not they're not horrible fitting. They are super high waisted. They were super high waisted on the curvy girl. But um interesting. They're really thick. And um there's room to move in them. It's too bad that they're blue. Okay, and then her top also doesn't it's all stretchy it does not have any velcro so there's a lot of things without velcro today hey crystal thanks for coming in i don't see anybody named crystal but speech fairy said hi to crystal so hi crystal vanessa thanks for your likes um farm fam funko hey fam funko thanks for coming in it's raining here tomorrow as well happy birthday to you it's not going to be raining here tomorrow i didn't check the weather should i check the weather right now i gotta see maybe i'll be taking maybe i'll be taking a bus on my birthday where's the where's the where's my right browser here hold on one second i have to see what, what we're looking at for weather tomorrow weather 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 there it is let's click that it looks like we have we have a Special weather statement, significant rainfall continuing tonight. Total rainfall amount of 20 to 40 millimeters are likely. That's not a lot of rainfall. At least I don't think it is. Um, and then it says, let's see what my hourly, 30 over the next 36 hours, it looks like Sunday rain, Sunday overnight rain, Monday morning mixed precipitation of rain and snow. But by Monday afternoon, it is going to be plus nine, which is, I don't know what to tell you. Is there a Fahrenheit converter? I don't know. 20% um, chance of precipitation. Um, evening is going to be five. Overnight is going to be at freezing again. It's going to be a pretty good day, that means, I guess. At least the rain is gone by the afternoon, and that means that I get to wear my rubber boots. So that's cool because I love wearing my rubber boots more than anything. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for the likes, guys. I'm putting on this crazy shirt on this girl. Maybe it'll be easier to slip it on from the bottom. Sometimes it is. Um, You can use your rubber duck boots. Yep. 
That's what's going to happen. I don't have yellow rubber boots, but that would be cute. Rubber ducky, you're the one. I did buy a pair of rain boots from Walmart before, and they only last me a few months, and then they wore out. So the next ones, I spent a lot more on my rubber boots because I do wear them a lot. And I think I didn't spend too much, though. I was considering buying a $200 pair of rain boots, and I thought that that was a bit much. So I went to, like, the hardware, not the hardware store? Yeah, the hardware store, and I found a pair for 50 and they actually looked really cool, and I really like them, and um, they seem to be doing really well. I still have them for about a year now. Here we go. This top looks really good on her. I did not like it on the other girl, but I actually don't mind it on crazy hair. It looks good. The, the outfit all around. So she looks like a crazy medical staff member, and she's a crazy medical staff member, and she's a crazy medical staff member. Let's um, let's put those lab coats on. I don't think we have to put the same lab coats on the same girls. So I don't really care. Actually, let's put the nicest lab coat on this dress because I don't like this dress the most. This is my least favorite outfit, which is kind of strange. So I don't know if these lab coats were made for curvy girls or they were just made for everybody. I wonder if all lab coats are the same, despite if they're for curvy girls or for original Barbie-shaped girls. I just know that she looks good. And you can kind of tell that she has lost some weight, that she's been, you know, dieting, maybe exercising a bit, eating, eating the healthy foods. But I think she looks, she does look good. She looks good in her new body and same outfit. Very nice. And then, oh, there's that clicking again on this one. What do you click? It's scary. Please don't break ever. And I think I'm going to put, um, you know what? I'm going to put this thicker coat on her because her shirt is of a thicker material. Wait, does that make sense? I don't know. No, maybe I should put the thinner shirt on her. No, I think the thinner shirt would look better over the thinner. The th thinner jacket over the thinner shirt. The pink is going to bring out the purple in her hair, which is good. The pink lining of this jacket. Hey, thanks for the likes, guys. Thanks for coming in and joining me tonight. Hey, Joanne, thanks for coming in. Did you give the video a like? I certainly hope so. You don't mind if I call you Johan. All right. And here is what she looks like in her nursing outfit. We've talked about nurses having strange colored hair here before. Oh, man. Thank you for the likes, guys. You guys are incredible. Whoops, I dropped her. I just dropped her. I was so happy by all of your likes. And yeah, I don't know. I think I think nurses and doctors could very well have these crazy colored hair. And it definitely brings out the colors in her skirt and her lab coat. So I think she looks like I think she looks just crazy enough to start doing some head swaps on some of these WWE girls, don't you? These fashionistas. We don't have to head swap her, but I guess we will. Maybe I should save her to um, try on the curvy clothes on somebody because I always do need somebody and I always have to try them on a doll that doesn't have any curvy parts. All right, so I'm going to put those ones aside, rip those shoes off, put all of these shoes aside. I've showed you all the shoes. I'll put those in my shoe bucket. You know what I haven't tried on? I didn't try on these goggles for the scientist girl. And they fit so well. Look how good those look. Oh, man. Those are nice. Hey, guys. Thanks for coming in and giving the video a like. It's so good to see you. We're, we are trying on. We are actually swapping all of these doctors' clothing. We've opened up a few doctors. These. One, two. Where's the other doctor gone? Oh. These three doctors have 
been stripped of their clothing because we have these three mad scientists who are taking over and they are taking the heads off. I don't know. I think they might be administrating some kind of um, chemical like hormone or something that makes the bodies turn all fit, but they also like to do body swaps and stuff because they are super into making everybody like really, really extra too healthy for their own good. Here is a good example of what a healthy Barbie looks like. She looks like this. This is Barbie with short cropped hair. This is the new 2020 Barbie with her hip style and hairdo and her very ultra muscular physique. Just like Wonder Woman. Just like Wonder Woman. And Hippolyta. Wonder Woman mommy. Thanks for the likes, guys. Yeah. I've never worn welly boots before. I just have boots, black boots with chunky heels. Vanessa, don't you get soakers in the rain? What do they call soakers in um, England and in Australia? A soaker is when you stick your, you're wearing like a sneaker or a shoe and you put your foot in the mud puddle and your foot gets all wet and your shoe is all wet inside. We call that a soaker. I'm pretty sure they, they call them soakers in the United States too, but I bet in Australia and in England, they have different names. For example, you say, we say rubber boot and you say welly. We say galoshes and you say rubber boots. You probably say galoshes. That's probably a British term. Uh, I can't get this lab coat on this girl. Well, I might be able to. I shouldn't say that yet. Uh, the arms are really too thin. This is an example of where the WWE body... Oh. Okay, I managed to squeeze it on, but I'm going to take it right off. I'm actually going to make her stand out. This is what happens. This is what I look like when I try on a jacket that is too small for me. It's too tight here in the forearms, so it's not going up. And it's really tight here in the shoulders, so it's not really going on. It's pulling in the back here. So she's trying to get it on, but she can't get it on. So we're going to take that off. Platinum curvy mannequin. Great idea. Oh, I guess so. I mean, I don't need her head for any other thing. So I guess it'll be good to have a standby. And it is one of my favorite faces. And I love her platinum hair. And she's very pretty. And her feet are... Even though flat feet look bigger than feet that aren't flattened. See how the feet are a bit bigger? So it's not as ridiculous. Only slightly bigger. All right, so we're taking the lab coat off her. Now, now what we're going to do is we're going to try in these awesome outfits from this one fashionista should i try to pull her head off without heating it up oh wait yeah yeah i don't have to worry about pulling it off here because because um i don't care if i break that body Believe me, I have enough curvy bodies that I don't need to worry about them. Platinum curvy mannequin. Great idea. Oh, I read that. Hey, Vanessa, thanks for the likes. Oh, yeah, you guys are awesome giving all the likes. He likes your likes, too. Yeah, likes, likes, likes. Thank you. Um, The Popeye effect. That's exactly what it is. Big forearms. Nothing else. Oh, man, I forgot to drink water. I was going to drink some water before. You know what? While I am running over to get a new body for her, I will stop and pour myself a glass of water. 
if I can ever get this jacket off her. I can feel myself getting dehydrated right now. I love Popeye movie growing up. You mean the one with... With can I do this before can I say the names before Robin Williams and then and then and then the girl from The Shining I forgot what her name is yeah that was definitely well cast not a huge Robin Williams fan to tell you the truth oh weird some weird like silicone stuff came out of her head when I pulled it off. I guess it's probably glue. That's probably one of Robin Williams' best movies, in my opinion. Okay. I haven't seen it in a long, long time. Let me... Oh, I need water. So I'm going to grab some bodies. I'm going to get some water. I'm going to bring it back here. And I'm going to find the right skin tone for her. Because I don't think either... Oh my goodness, I still haven't opened up these WWE bodies. That's coming up. That's coming up too. These two skin tones are much darker than this one. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to waste this very nice golden dark on this lighter skin when I definitely have a better option over there. I think one of the Bella twins are going to have the matching skin tone for her. Don't go away. Wait. I'm right here. I'm, I'm watching you. Don't go away. Here we go. I thought I decided it was probably not best that I didn't drink the water over here because of how clumsy I am. Hmm. So here's all the extra bodies that I have. I have quite a, actually a collection of extra bodies. So where did that head go? I like to take it. She's not a yellow skin body. I have a lot of yellow skin bodies. It just has this yellow tinge to it. That looked good in the camera, but it's not. Okay. So my prediction was that one of these Bella twins would be a good match. And... See a Sasha. Sasha's skin is. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard to see with the clothes on. That's lighter than that. And this one, that's a yellow skin tone on her. So many of her. I got a lot of her. Some of her I got for a penny. That's right. Only a penny. So, is it a Bella Twin? Yeah, I think this is this is the skin tone Not that you guys can really see. The, I don't know why. I don't know why you can't see, but it is. It's a good. It's a good skin match. Oh, and look, it's another one of those hats. Better do this one instead. They both have the same color skin tone. But should I heat up her head is the question first. 
Shelly Duval. That is totally her name. Thank you. Awesome, Jennifer. Well done. <laughs> I don't know. Robin Williams, I could always tell, was really sad. That's why. It seemed he seemed so insincere. His comedy seemed insincere to me. Okay, I should not be doing this without heating up the head in the cold months. Especially in the cold months. But I'm doing it anyway, and it seems to be working. There hasn't been a crack yet. So I'm just pushing the head off of the first layer, which I did. There's a lot of stress I made on the neck peg. Okay, and I got her head off. I did it. But my advice is to, a lot of people put it in water, but I find that a little bit messy. So I do like... You know, I put mine over the radiator where the hot air is coming up from the register. But you can also use a hair dryer. And then, to make things extra easy, just in case... Wow, that thunder. Makes it sound like somebody's in my home. Thought somebody was thumping around downstairs. Clip off those little pegs. To make it easy, just in case you need to replace it again. I hope this is the right head swap. My lighting is not the best right now. But I think the coloration is good enough. And here we go. You guys did... Oops. These girls did such a good job. Yeah, yeah. And here she is. Looking fantastic. She's got all kinds of muscles and she can move and she can wiggle and she's got elastic bands holding her together. What is going on here? Uh, uh. Um, um, Harley Davidson jacket is no good. Oh, uh, the Harley Davidson jacket is no good. Um, if you're talking about a Harley Davidson jacket fitting on one of these WWE bodies, yeah, that's probably not going to happen. Um, hey, Ink Pad, thanks for coming in. Thanks for giving the video a like. So good to see you. I deboxed Barbie Harley Davidson gift set 2010. The jacket of the Gurks is waste. I am so sad. Excuse my English. The jacket of the girls is waste. Do you mean that it's not very good? It's not a good jacket? Yes, the jacket is totally... Est. It is disintegrated. Oh, because it's such an old set. Yeah. I have a Barbie and the Rockers. What's that guy's name from Barbie and the Rockers that isn't Ken? I have one of... One of those, whatever. Did somebody tell me what his name is yet? Um, and Kirk, is that his name? And the jacket has just stuck to the box. It's for Derek, yeah. Thank you, Catalina. Yes. And parts of the jacket have come off on the back of the box. Old toys disintegrate, and it's, it's horrible. It's a horrible, horrible thing. All right, so we have... Two, very, oh, she looks so good. Look at her beautiful hair. I just love this body shape so much. And it's, and the, and it's just got, it's got the perfect amount of articulation for me. There is articulation. There's not too much. And the articulation is made so nice that it doesn't make her look like a robot. Like the made to move bodies. But let's try some of this 80s clothes on these girls. I think that we will have to put on this skirt. All right, that skirt does fit a little big. And then I'll put on this black skirt on Barbie. I re-read not too many homes. I radard, I radiator, oh. A radiator, not too many homes have one of those, 
blow dryer sounds good. Oh yeah, not in not in Montreal. They all have like hot water heaters. But in Toronto, we've got we've got a lot of air blowing heat going on in this province. Um um, I don't have a hair dryer, so when I want to take Barbie dolls' heads off, I use my electric kettle with steam, a steam, the head off. Oh, oh my. Oh my. Are you sure you should be doing something like that? Oh yeah, I want to swap, I'm going to swap these outfits up a little bit different than what we're supposed to be doing, so I'm going to put on the white top with the black skirt and I'm going to put the black and white shirt on over you know what I think um I think uh I think <laughs> what am I trying to say I think Jetta is going to get this because it's a shirt so it's going to look really cool over a different black and white patterned pant so you know what I might actually do that tonight too I probably am not going to open up these WWE dolls because I don't have any heads to put on them anyway. And I did open up another. Well, at least I did pop on a head. Did I promise I was going to open these? I'll tell you what, guys. Anybody who's come to see me open up these ones, I've opened up these in so many videos. Definitely go and check those out. And I have some awesome videos of some really awesome beheadings that you should definitely check out. And you should definitely give this video a like. Thanks so much for the likes, guys. You guys are awesome. I don't know if you guys can hear the thunder, but it's thunder and thunder, thunder. All right. Oh, and my shirt kind of matches this '80s style that's going on in, 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 in this video tonight. All right. So it's kind of a boat neck. It's a looser fitting t-shirt. And we've got this sparkly high waisted skirt on. I mean, you could pull it down. And kind of hook it onto her underwear, but well, yeah, that that does look good. But it naturally wants to pop up there, and that looks more respectful. It does like truncate her body. This does add a little va va boom and height to her. Isn't that funny how that makes her look so much taller than when she wears it like that? Even though she's got these longer legs, this does make her look taller. But. No daughter of mine is leaving the house like that. But she still looks good. All right. And then next, Thor is working. Thor is <laughs> Thor. He's not Thor. He's He-Man. But Derek was my favorite growing up. I definitely have to get my Derek out. I mean, and I should be taking off that sticky jacket off of him. I know that that jacket is sticky on him. Like I opened him because he was already opened and he actually seemed to be like, it wasn't really played with, but somebody had opened them. So that kind of was unfortunate. But let's check out this outfit. Oh, this fits really nice actually. So that's, that's super, super sweet outfit. Okay. With a, crazy colored lagging on with this it's gonna look really good on jetta and then i'll give her an 80s belt and it even has a little touch of pink in there into the stitching so that's cool yeah jetta is getting that right now and wow it fits really really nice let's see how it looks without a skirt on um oh uh no daughter of mine but you could wear it with like a bikini bottom but still, which I would like to see, just no daughter of mine. All right, next. Yeah, that looks nice. Very nice dress. Look at that purple hair. She looks fantastic. Look how good she looks. All right. Woo. Did you see this outfit that I gave Alexa Bliss? Whoa, her glasses have gone crazy. Um, It's kind of crazy. She's got this Barbie and the Rockers, like, tube top on and then she's got this crazy skirt on and then i you know put this fuzzy sleeved jacket over top of it 
this um, top has a built-in necklace because there's this lightning bolt down the back. It's a reversible top, you see. Barbie and the Rockers. <laughs> but you know, I had to cover up a little bit. It's um, it's a little um, it's a little it's a little bit of a lot. And then she's got what's her name? Whose whose boots are those? Charlotte Flair's boots on. Um, where are these clothes from? Sorry, I missed it. Which clothes are you referring to? Oh, this is from the Fashionista pack. It came with all of these clothes. And she was a curvy girl with this head. And she had this baseball cap. If that doesn't ring any bells, then I don't know what to tell you. Is that all of her fashions? Oh, yeah. And this dress. This is how you would know her because she had this dress on. Who do we have left to put on this dress? Any, anybody, anybody here? Any WWEs? Let's bring out, we might as well bring out this girl. Why not? She's right on top and she's got like the best hair in all of the land. It's quite safe when using electrical kettle with steam. The steamer Barbie doll's head off. <laughs> steam Barbie's head off. I've also done it to my holiday Barbie doll into my brand new made-to-move Barbie body, and it looks fine. Okay. There's a lot of there's a lot of heat. Steam, steam can almost be more dangerous than hot water. Sometimes. And, whoa. Uh-oh, something's going on in the top where you can totally see through the top. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so you have to be very careful about making sure that the lining goes above her bosom because it can show. And this dress actually fits so nicely look at that now maybe sheena or aja could actually wear this dress too because it is super 80s and they both like to wear yeah, maybe aja it is like the color of aja's hair wait didn't sheena had purple hair with purple clothes and aja has this turquoisey blue but this is it is. I mean, it looks more turquoise, and it's just kind of vibrant blue. I don't know. All I know is this is a nice-looking dress. I might have to test it. I think we are going to get out some Gem and the Holograms right now. Actually, we're going to get out... We're going to get out um, Jetta, for sure. All right. Okay. Okay. Wow. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. We've had some crazy headway today, didn't we? Got some crazy, wacky scientists doing head removals. I guess that could have been the thumbnail. Body swap. Crazy body swap Barbie madness. Thor, the Scandinavian god of thunder. That's why I said Thor was working. Oh, right. The Scandinavian God of Thunder? Sounds like something somebody would call me. That's what this this guy thinks he's the Scandinavian God of Thunder. But he's actually He-Man. All right. Do you want to try this hat on? We can all wear hats. Let's put this big hat to this hat. This hat probably... That hat does look better on him. He has a bigger head. How does that look? He does have a bigger head. He looks like a little boy now. Put this, this hat back on this guy. It is a tight fit. Oh. oh. Sorry. Sorry that I wasn't here. Oh no, Mr. Pigeon. But thanks for coming back. Thanks for coming now and thanks for giving the video a like. Better late than never, I say. I was in Walmart shopping. What did you buy? Did you get any good toys? Did you see anything good? Did you see my missing one of these things? I'm missing the one that's on the lizard. I have 
I have three of them, but I'm missing the fourth. I have the tiger, and I have this... I don't know what this is called, but it's awesome. And I have this raptor guy, but I'm missing the lizard one, and I really need to get that. We don't get them in Canada. Nancy, she has mahogany hair. She is curvy and sporty clothes. That's right, and she wears this dress with a baseball cap on. These dresses look so good, and not just for curvy. I'm so happy because it is the best collection ever, and this is a great collection too. And then I also have this pencil skirt that doesn't look good on anybody. Where is Jetta? we got to get out Jetta. Okay, I should probably take a breather and just relax here a little bit. Okay, it's here. Let's get that guy out of the way. Let's bring her in here. Um, um, Dr. Hunkenstein. <laughs> um, Beverly, ha, ha, ha. It, I will call you that if you get that, the outfit and the hammer. Oh, okay. I will definitely get... You know what? I definitely did get myself a horn, a winged mask of some sort, a winged headdress. I have one of those around here somewhere, thinking that I would wear it more often. Okay, so let's bring out Jetta. Is Jetta around? Oh, you guys don't know. I've been doing some body swapping with the gem and the holograms. Well, mostly the misfits. So this is what happened. I totally, I don't know. There was something, I saw this, I saw this skirt and then I wanted to make her look tougher. And so I put this and she looks kind of more, you know, she looks kind of better like this. Bad. She looks kind of more tough and evil. So I don't know if I'm going to put her back to the way that I had her or what, or find her a completely different outfit before she had on that leopard yellow skirt. But this is good too. I think this is good. I don't know. I like this more modern, edgy top and stuff. Okay. So this is what I ended up putting on Jetta, which I don't really like, but. I had to put something on her sleeves because it was way, way too um, revealing like this. So, yeah, I thought I had to cover her up a bit. And that actually did take away from the overtly sexy look of this. Jetta actually never was um, scantily clad as much as the others. <laughs> so... That's a bit too scantily clad, I think. The green skirt goes with pizza. This green skirt goes with pizza. I don't know what that means. Oh, pizzazz. <laughs> Does it say pizzazz and I read that wrong? Um, the green skirt goes with pizza. But I think she means pizzazz. Um, oh, uh, oh, uh, and did she say green? She did say green. Um, yes, yes, yes. She could actually, she could actually wear this skirt, and it would be pretty good. It pulls out. It makes her hair look more green, which and it matches her sock. But her main print is black and white animal print. So I'm still going with that. But it does, it would look, definitely look good on her, Anna. You are correct. Um, Jetta, J-E-T-T-A, like a, um, a jet, is cool. Leave the way, leave her that way. No, 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 no. She's going to look so, so much better with that other top on. But, I mean, she does look pretty good like this. But now I'm going to have to find her a different pair of laggings. Or I'm going to have to put the long polka dot skirt back on her again. But um, this outfit is definitely too revealing. This, this shirt might go back to Pizzazz, though. Pizzazz might be able to pull that off. I think she actually had that on at one point. Um, is Buzz Lightyear kind of like G.I. Joe? 
Um, no, they actually have a G.I. Joe character. Somebody tell me what the name of the G.I. Joe character is. Not to mention the new Canadian Evil Knievel character that they have, which maybe I will find and buy for my birthday. But there is a there is an army guy in, in Toy Story. Um, Buzz Lightyear is kind of his own entity. It's kind of just a space toy that has um, all of these buttons and gadgets on it. Not really like any other toy that existed. Now, Woody, Woody is a toy that was very common in like the 50s where you would have this toy and you would pull the string on its back and would say all kinds of catchphrases. So that's a super common type of toy. But no, Buzz is not a G.I. Joe. He's like a special space toy. All right, so this is cool. This is cool on its own. I do think the black laggings are nice, but we might want to like retrofy it just a little bit by clashing a couple different black and white patterns together. But this might be how it's going to end up. And this is, of course, I'm going to put on a super duper um, big chunky 80s belt on this. But yeah, we're going to have to try some bottoms on this. To see if it can be improved on. Maybe we better try that black skirt on. Do you know Woody was based on a Casper doll? On a Casper doll? I don't know if that's true. Casper the ghost? She looks like a Chinese doll. Cool. She does kind of look like... It did It did look make her look kind of Chinese. I mean, this is a very Asian-inspired top to wear something like that, and with her hair up, and because she has a very Asian face. Um, uh, uh, this, however, very inappropriate. Let's get, let me try the skirt on that was originally designed to go with this outfit. We'll check out what that looks like. But I do think she needs another black and white pattern of some sort. So the only thing that I have, I think, is polka dots. Or white laggings. But, yeah. This, I don't think... I don't think this looks as good as the laggings. I think we can all agree. It's nice that it's shiny and sparkly. But, yeah, no. It, lo it The laggings definitely look better. This just makes her look like she's wearing an apron now. These... Her um her original her signature top looks very kind of Asian too, very ultra modern Asian look to it. Um this skirt. This skirt wouldn't look right with it. It just would be too short. There a snake in my boot to infinity and beyond. There's a snake in my boot. Did he ever say that? To infinity and beyond. I don't remember there's a snake in my boot. Did you know what do you... Okay, she looks like a China doll. I read that. Um, Vanessa, thanks for the likes, guys. You guys are awesome for giving the likes tonight. She needs multicolored pattern laggings. Well, she only wears black and white. So every once in a while, she does have some color. But for the most part... Okay, so I actually did organize my bottoms into into a couple different bins here. Oh no, oh no, I'm running out of space. Too much stuff around here. Must get bottoms out without dropping everything on the ground. Oh, there they are. Oh. Okay, woo. So, I mean, would this leopard skirt look good underneath there? Not really. Maybe, actually. Might have to try that. We've got this white skirt. But that's that's a bit thick. That's a bit thick, and that kind of would look more like a petticoat or something. And again, that makes it look like an apron. So the laggings are the best. The polka dotted 
skirt that I have is a really thin pencil skirt, so pencil skirt, so it might look okay. So we'll try this out. Um, um, the toys says it it when you press the button on his chest. Oh, it says there's a snake in my boot. I don't remember that happening in the movie. All right, so um, nope. This is not a go. I mean, it looks. Mm, it looks okay, but it doesn't. It doesn't clash enough. I mean, it's too hidden. So I'm not. I'm not accepting that. So it looks like the black pants are the winner, and then she's going to get an incredibly cool and awesome. belt she'll get this super awesome deluxe belt to go and um that might look that might look a little better and it's got it's got red in it does it only at the top um yeah no 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 no, no. the laggings are going back on they are the sure fire winner our doll clothes are also sorted in tops and bottoms and dresses I just took it. A, I took it a step further. I took, I took it to skirts, shirts, skirts, shorts, and pants, just because I had the extra containers and I was having a hard time, which probably isn't that good of an idea, because you have to pull out all of the bottoms like I just did. I know that shorts aren't going to look good on this. Do I know that shorts aren't going to look good on this? Do I know that these small polka dot shorts won't look good with this outfit? I don't know. I'm going to have to try them on. Maybe Duck and Bunny, I guess, the new villains. Wait, do you think they're villains? They look so cute to be villains. That would, that would blow my mind. Those two are super duper cute. But I guess that could happen. Well, you can't exactly say that baby, whatever one-eyed baby was, he wasn't really that cute. But I thought he was cute. But I think most people think he looks creepy. Is that what is his name? Was his name just baby? I actually don't mind this. I think this is pretty good. Actually, I don't know. I'm going to have to think about this. I, this is my second favorite because, yeah, I kind of like this. But I think the laggings are better. It's hard to say without my belt on. She's going to have to borrow a belt. The kind of belt that she's going to have on is going to be very much like Roxy's. I'm, I'm seeing triangles. So hopefully I have got one of those triangle things. I guess I'm going to have to make that video really, really soon where I just sit down and make accessories with you while you guys sit here and I try to answer your questions and I just make accessories instead of editing it or anything. But it's totally going to look something like this. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I want big geometrical shapes for her, which I'm, I'm thinking that I have. That looks good, but I'm pretty sure that the pants are going to look the best. Pants, 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 pants. Where'd the pants go? Here they are. And I probably should put WWE pants on instead of Barbie pants because the WWE girls have bigger, bigger bottoms. So if I do have an extra pair... Of WWE pants. Hey, thanks for the likes, guys. You guys are awesome. Yeah! Pants. Here we go. Look at all these. I think I might have to use these for dance. Just because so many... There are so many pairs of these. Or, I don't know... What? 
what should I do with all of these pants? Should I put dress everybody up in the same outfit and they can just go, I don't know, on some kind of, they can start some kind of choreographed kind of thing. How many do I have here? One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine. I have more than nine. Pretty sure I have more than nine. I mean, not that nine's not enough. I think um, I did put a pair on dance. I don't know. Let's see. Is she around here? Definitely have ten. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's got a pair on. What do you think? What do you think of this outfit for dance? It's kind of okay, but I think I better put on some kind of leotard instead and make her look super authentically. <laughs> but... At least these pants were getting some use. And the colors are perfect. Oh. All right. Okay, those pants go away. And I don't really have a big, thick pair of... I guess these ones would be WWE ones. They have a pink waist, but maybe that's a good thing. Let's try those on. The WWE ones are just going to fit better over the bottom, the, the bum, the bottom. Hey, guys, thanks for the likes. You guys are awesome. Um, 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 maybe Duck and Bunny, oh, I guess are the new villains. They better not be the new villains. I already said that. There is, there's a snake in my boot is a classic what he's saying from the first original Toy Story. I definitely have to watch the Toy Story again. Do you guys know the release date for the new Toy Story? I have a lot of Toy Story toys to open. Doesn't it open in April? Oh no, do I have to do that video this week too? So many videos to do. I haven't even started my Easter openings for Anna. I think the villain is going to be Bo Peep. I saw previews at Dumbo. No, no, no. Bo Peep is the the new hero. She is taking. She's just. She's just in charge. I would not be surprised if those two cute little things were the villain, the villains. But maybe they're who she's rescuing. Thanks for the likes, Vanessa. Yeah. I'm just trying to get these pants on Jetta here. They have a pink strap. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. And why am I having so much difficult? I'm having so much difficulty because this the waistband is twisting under. And I have to bring it back up. Maybe the maybe these aren't WWE pants. Maybe these are Barbie pants. Ugh. 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 Wow, now it's really raining outside. Better stop raining. Better stop raining before my birthday. Is it almost my birthday? No, no. Okay. All right. Okay, so you get a little peekaboo pink thing going on there, but I mean that's okay. And she's got a little pinkaboo pink stitch there, so I think I kind of like that. But maybe I don't because it might just look like her underwear is showing. I guess it all depends on what kind of belt I have on her. But you know what? I think I'm gonna have to change these again. And I actually think that the Barbie ones fit better, but she's looking real good. I definitely, oh wait, do I? Do I like the polka dot shorts better than I like these laggings? Yeah, let's um, let's make her look classy. So we'll make, I'm gonna put on the black laggings without the strap, and then I'm gonna put on a nice black and white geometrical, black and white, um, just geometric shapes, hopefully triangles for her belt, and then she's gonna look super 80s classic awesome awesomeness. 
Finally, she was the one that I was struggling with the mo most was my Jetta. So now she's back. I love the silver neck jacket used it more. I love the silver net jacket. I don't know if I like it that much, though. I don't know who else could wear it. I mean, it's a pretty unique piece. It's a pretty special piece. But... Somebody, somebody will wear it. I will show it to you. It's really hard to get it on and off. Yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty cool. I might have to put it on my space girl. Would you like that? I could put it on her. Wherever she is right now, she's with the career girls. Woo! Okay, 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 okay. So, thanks for the likes. Thanks for coming by. Take those pants off. I'm going to take this belt and give it back to... You must have heard that thunder. And Anna likes the laggings better. And Vanessa likes the likes. Thanks, Vanessa. But this Roxy is like, this Roxy takes the cake. She turned out so well. She also has my favorite head, my favorite face mold. Oh, wait, no. No, no, no. Okay. If you can see here. Wait, is that the same face? It's not the same face, but it's a similar face. It's just a nice round face that looks really good with the WWE body. But with this dress and her sleeve and that belt, she looks so incredible. Little little hint of blue there on the side. Yeah, she looks good. Don't she look good? The chain hanging down on the side here. 80s classic, classy. Where are my shoes? Do I have a pair of black pumps around here? Pretty much all of the misfits wear the same shoes. Shoes, shoes, here they are. Again, I sure have a lot of purple sneakers. Apparently 20 purple sneakers to be exact. Look at all those purple sneakers. Okay, black pumps. Do I have any extra in here? Black pumps? Black pumps? Yeah, here's a pair. I have a pair of gold pumps in here that nobody's wearing, too. So you want to see Roxy in her complete look. Here she, here she is. She looks real good. Um, pencil skirts are the best. They really are. Especially for these glamorous looks. Oh man, lots of people left. I guess everybody's going to bed. It's getting late now. And I guess I should go too now. But um, I'm not going to go yet. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some cleaning up. And maybe I'll actually clean up everything while you guys are still here. That wouldn't be so bad. It's a shame I've got... Don't have this awesome awesome like snake skin skirt on anybody yet but that should be easy enough thor is working thor is working indeed anna thor is working indeed and um i guess she thinks roxy looks very elegant so that's good thanks i i agree with that too if you think that roxy looks good give this video a thumbs up what are these guys standing in here? Look at this mess and disaster. And I got my 80s shirt on too, which is great. I bought this today. I guess this is my birthday shirt. Better not lose my Game of Thrones connection. Wait, is Game of Thrones on tonight? Is its premiere tonight? Are you watching it now? Tell me that you're not watching Game of Thrones while I'm streaming because... 
You have to pay attention to that stuff. Um, hi, Caroline from Canada. I love your videos. Yay, Caroline, thanks for the like, and thanks for coming in, and thanks for liking my videos, and I like you, and I love your comments. Yup, belt is the best for hat color pink. Yup, belt is the best for hat color pink. Um, who's the next Toy Story villain for a new movie? Toy Story 4 first. There was Sid Phillips and Scrub the Dog. And then there was Al McWeaven and Stinky Pete. And finally, Lotso Hug Huggin' Bear. Who's the next villain? You know what? I know. I think I know who the next villain is. It's the puppet guy. It's the guy who looks like the guy from Goosebumps. The marionette. Or the ventriloquist puppet. Isn't he? Because he looks bad and scary. So he could be the villain. They also... Is it is it the, um, the stunt guy? The Canadian stunt? Motorcycle stunt? Niagara Falls Canadian guy? Maybe he is the villain. Okay, these pants are better because they're longer and they actually fit on her bum better and they don't have the little pink thing showing on the side so this is the answer now i'm really super excited about making belts so i better make some belts really really soon would you guys watch a video where i was making some accessories live and showing you them it could be really tedious and not very enjoyable but then again maybe it would be I need to get one of those other cameras that point down from above and you can see like all of the work I'm doing. I think Bo Peep is the next villain, unfortunately. No, I think she's supposed to be the hero. I think she is. I heard a synopsis where her and Woody have to leave the toy room to save somebody. Wait, isn't that the plot from one of the other movies? And she, and she's like, She's like the gung ho, like tough girl. Like she's like the 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 girl power thing that's you know so prominent nowadays. We're given you know given girl power. You you we girls can do anything, right, Bo Peep? That would be sad if she. I don't I don't think that she's going to be the villain. That would be really crazy if she was the villain. I hope she's not the villain. It could also be cool if she was the villain. Um, very happy with her. She needs a crazy belt, though. All right. Okay. All right. And then, how do I feel about pizzazz? It's quite a departure from her look. I'm going to have to take a look at what pizzazz looks like on the interweb and see... If I agree with how I have her looking. I mean, the sock is a win. The belt seems to be a win. The skirt kind of really is a win because it's very close to the dress that she signaturely wears. Is that a word? Does it matter if it's a word? And if I look at the pictures of the misfits, and yeah, she's got pretty much exactly the same pattern dress and then she's got a little flash of she has actually has a green belt and she's got a little flash of pink like underneath so i don't know i got pretty much the signature colors are looking super good on her and then she's kind of modernized in this thing i mean if i can find I don't know. If I could find... I don't know. I like... I think I like it. I'm not 100% on board, but I think I like it. It's retro. It's modern. Kind of has the best of both worlds. So, I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show Vanessa's comment. Instead of pressing not show it. Jason, look just look at my pizzazz doll on my Instagram. Be a lot easier for you, my misfits doll pizzazz. 
Yeah, so I like to look at the cartoons, though, Vanessa. I do like your Instagram real authentic Hasbro ones, though, but I do like to base it on the cartoon. And then I like to take some modern liberties with it. So uh, that is what's going on here. I wonder if said Phillips, Al McWagon, Stinky Pete, and Lotso will make appearances in the fourth movie, if only Woody and Buzz had memories about them. Just wondering. Yes, there are a lot of flashbacks in this movie, I've also heard. So it is very possible that like they could be like old Bo Peep's nemesis. I know that Bo Peep is getting a lot of flash. Or do I know that? I think there's flashbacks. Um, I would definitely watch the live video of Making Belts. Oh, thank you, Nancy. I'll definitely make that video then. Um, it's so 80s. Okay, well, if um, maybe this, if this is so 80s, oh, then I'm totally happy with this. Um, the Pesnani, <laughs> the Pesninis are here. Thanks for the happy birthday, guys. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for coming by. I've only been on here for an hour and 46 minutes, and then earlier again today. And Steven's just showing up now, too. Will you have a live video tomorrow? I guess that all depends on what time I return home tomorrow. I guess that means I'm actually... I guess I do have to leave the house on my birthday. I probably shouldn't stay locked in. How big will your haul be? I don't know. Um, I just went to the store not too long ago, and I actually didn't buy any very much. There wasn't, there's nothing new at Toys R Us right now. Walmart's not putting anything new out. If I went to the States, however, because the Walmart's in the U.S., next time I go there, I'm going to pick up my fourth one of these that I'm missing. Hopefully I find it when I go, which will probably be really soon. So these are only available at walmart.com or Walmart in the States. And something else that's only available at Walmart in the States are the new Rescue Heroes. So the next time I go, not like this one, I think they're more like this than this, I think, this time, which is cool because I do prefer the new mo this new newer versions than these, even though these are hunky and chunky. But Vanessa, Brian, you can totally tell why I love these ones. They're like awesome six-inch figures. And that is the new thing. But I just read yesterday that they are exclusive to Walmart in the States. So... I'm super upset about that. But not really because I've been going to the States a lot. So next time I go, I'm going to get those. And hopefully I'll find the fourth one of these. And so, yeah, I don't need... There's nothing, there's nothing in Canada right now that I need or want. But that doesn't mean that I'm not going to go toy shopping tomorrow. Because what do I love to do more than anything else? That's how I should definitely spend my birthday. Primal Clash. That is the name. Yeah, Primal Clash. Yeah, thanks for the likes, guys. Yeah. He thanks you, too. Oh, my goodness. This guy's more of a disaster than I am today. Here, you can take off your hat. I'm not wearing one. Um, I'm still wondering if Sid might still remember that toys are alive and nobody believes him in Toy Story. That would be a really cool. I would love that. Um, Lena says, hey, Lena, thanks for coming by. Happy birthday, Jason. Mine is Thursday, weather 74 and raining. Oh, well, at least it's warmer. 74 is a pretty nice temperature. OMG, I had a wonderful experience at Tuesday morning store today. I saw some stuff. I did not buy much, but know where to go now. Did you see the toilet? Did you see the grocery gang toilet? That is, oh wait, that's not at Tuesday morning. That's at five below. Um, Tuesday morning has some great stuff. Steven, did you see Barbies? Yeah, did you see any Barbies, Steven? What did you see there? Tell us which ones you saw. And thanks for giving the video a like too, guys. All right. Now back to my cleaning up this mess. So my short box and my skirt box and my pant box. Where's my pant box? Pant, pant box, pant box. 
I have a jacket box. Oh, here's my pant box. So I think we learned that Pizzazz is looking fine the way she is. And oh no, I for I forgot that. I forgot that Clash stole the great, the good, the best dress that was ever made by Barbie. Clash is looking great. Um, Jet is looking fantastic. Pizzazz is looking fantastic. Um, I don't know what these girls' names are, but the Stingers, they just need, they need better accessories, and they're looking great. And then Roxy, Stormer, I'm sorry, Stormer's looking great. She just needs a new belt. And, um, and, and Roxy is like completely done, even with her shoes. Thank you, Beverly. Yeah, there's the likes. There's the birthday likes. Oh, and thank you, Vanessa. Yeah, there's the birthday likes. Um, try to find more Mega Constructs Monster High characters like L Lorna McNessy. Um, I think I have her. Don't I have them all? I have every single one that's been released in the single packs. Now you're confusing me, Anna. Because you know what I have more than I do. I saw a curvy Barbie too. Did you see this one? Did you see the one with this dress on? And with... Where did she go? And with this head? Because she is the best one ever. And these clothes are the best clothes ever. Look how nicely that fits, even though it's a curvy dress. All right, let's put these back in here. Thanks for the heads up. Need to check out Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning is one of the best places to go. Sometimes everything can be gone, but the Tuesday morning that is closest to me in the States when I visit isn't there anymore, unfortunately. They shut down. They replaced it with a dollar, a dollar general, and the dollar general has really expensive toys. Actually, they have they have old toys, but they don't have good toys. I mean, some of the toys are good, but the prices aren't fantastic. Like it's not like something. I did find my last Monster High Beach girl girl there though. All right. Okay, I got my nurses all ready for the next video. I actually should probably put her in a nurse outfit so that she's ready to go too. A doctor and nurse outfit. Lots of thunder happening. Um, my collection, my collections are goofing up if I, oh, my connections are goofing up. If I type too fast, the words don't get to you. Oh, yeah, I forgot to see what you said there. Um, um, happy birthday, Jason. No, thank you, Speech Fairies. Don't forget to check your mailbox. No, don't send me stuff. <sighs> Ooh. Um, I didn't know. Hey, Heather, thanks for coming in. I hope you had a good dinner today. Um, thanks for the birthday likes. So much birthday likes. So much birthday greetings. It's not my birthday yet. It's tomorrow. When I was a little, I thought Buzz Lightyear and the other toys were going to teach Al a lesson about stealing Woody when I watched the second Toy Story movie, but nope, they didn't happen. Yes, they deserved to be taught a lesson for sure. Oh my goodness, more birthday greetings from Vanessa. Thank you. Hey, Heather Wheeler. Oh my goodness, this video is so long and so crazy and just out of control. And I have an extra head here. I guess I should take off that headband. But right now, this is like, 
this is just like you know it's it's like the overtime show is what's happening now i'm just cleaning i'm putting stuff away it's nice that you guys have joined me oh the the, Pe the pesninis are here panizis panizis always struggle with their name um speaking of sending so nush Snush. Soonish. No, no, no. Do not send me. Especially you, Brian and Veronica. You guys have sent me way too many things. Way beyond too many things. Oh. I have way too many toys, and you guys send me more toys, and then I buy more toys. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. I've been busy. I am sorry. Oh, Heather, don't don't be sorry. You can't be on YouTube all day long. Not like not like all of us crazy guys over here. We're the ones that shouldn't be on YouTube all the time. Okay, I got a pair of pants. A pair of pants to put in my pants bin. And I've got a shirt. No, a pair of shorts. These are really nice shorts, man. Those are super like 80s cool shorts. But they have to go in the shorts bin. And then I've got some shoes that I'm going to put those back in the shoe bin. So that I know where they are. And then I have um, a head that still has some tabs coming out of it that I should pull out. And that's going to go in the head bin, which I don't have standing by right now. Ugh. Hate when it breaks off. Shoe, um, tops, top, another top. Pizzazz looked really good with this top on, though. I forget what else I had given her with that top. Um, okay, okay, and then a pair of two skirts. And she's got to do some. I've got to do something special with her because that purple hair, burgundy maroon hair, is pretty awesome. Thanks for the likes, guys. Oh my goodness. And Vanessa it gave more birthday greetings and likes. Thank you, Vanessa. And Anna says, the twins are the only ones I like from WWE. Um, what about Alexa Bliss? You don't like her? She's my favorite. She looks so pretty and evil at the same time. Kind of, kind of, um, what, kind of what I go for. It's kind of my taste. Can we fix up his glasses? He always seems to be, like, bent forward. There we go. Can you get better posture there, mini Jason? Um, my mom gave me some of her fabric, and I was thinking about making Barbie clothes, maybe. Um, I would recommend, you know, downloading the videos from here. Did you? You were taking all of my light. Ab 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 um, what's her name? Alexa? A Blexa Bliss, a Blexa Liss. Um, okay. Um, I went to the twins. Um, 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 my mom gave me some of their fabric. Oh yeah, you should use the my froggy stuff designs. If you were going to use any directions to make a dress, I would you know run over to there, and you can download them from their website. Apparently, Al should um have saw the toys alive, just like when um they teach Sid a lesson about destroying the toys and Sid saw them alive and then freaked out and it did it. And Al would been, that is definitely a very, very good idea. Mr. Pigeon boy. Um, I saw and freaked out and did it. And Al would been more amazed to see have not received any feedback on the Barbie dolls. I completed. Um, she has a purple dress and black sash and purple boots. Um, Steven, what is your Instagram name again? And did you leave that on my video? So I'll definitely remember. And do you follow me? Or tag me or something so I can see? I'm really bad about remembering names and actually going to Instagram and using Instagram because, as you can see, I don't post on Instagram very often. My intentions are to, but those sound really like awesome customs. I just bought my first WWE doll, Brie. Can't wait to see how she looks. She is awesome. Ka-ro. 
You are going to love them. The WWE dolls are awesome. Their bodies are incredible. And Brie Bella is a, is a good one for sure. Um, Stephen Anthony. Oh, Stephen Anthony. Wait, Stephen Anthony was a DJ from the 80s and the 90s in Canada. Um, 7912 is my Instagram. Stephen Anthony, 7912. If I say it again, do you think I'll remember it? Stephen Anthony. Well, I can remember because I know he's a famous name. 7912. At least famous in Canada, which is not that famous. Yeah, I am on here's all the time. Yes, Heather, I know you're always here. So, hi, Stephen. I like your dolls. It looks like you, Jason. Yeah. That... That's the loudest thunder ever. Hey, Life on Yo-Yo, thanks for coming in. Thanks for giving the video a like. Yeah, we're in. We're into the two-hour point. Have a great day tomorrow. I'm going to go now. I'll see what you get for in the evening for your birthday. Oh, thank you, Beverly. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for the birthday wishes. Um, hopefully, I will come not home too late tomorrow, and I will get lots of toys. Thunder, we got rain. Um, Dam sounded like gunshots. It was very, very loud. Um, I was toy shopping. Oh, what did you get? Did you get lots of toys? Hopefully, if I do go to... I have to go to probably some faraway Toys R Us's and check out and find out if they actually have some Imaginext toys because at Toys R Us, Imaginext in Canada right now is 50% off. So I haven't been able to find any of the Toy Story, new Toy Story toys there, but I have heard that they are there. So if I'm lucky and I stumble onto the right location where they put in toys out at the right time, I could do very, very well. Or I could get nothing. Jason is bringing the rain. I'm bringing something. I heard that one. It is very loud. Gotta go to watch Aquaman. Oh, fun, guys. Have a great fun day tomorrow. Thank you, Brian and Veronica. Thanks so much. Enjoy Aquaman. I haven't seen that movie yet. I have to watch that, too. I miss Toys R Us. Sorry about that, Heather Wheeler, but you are going to get a Jeffrey something-something toy store that's coming and opening, and it sounds pretty good, too. I think they're going to have toys like... What did I do with my soldiers that I opened today? I don't know where they are. Oh, here, but I do need this. This is my purse box. So I'm going to put this purse in here. And I'm going to put this purse in here. Then, I got all of these shoes today. So I'm going to put those in my shoe box. Look at all the shoes that I have, guys. I am accumulating so many shoes. I really didn't want to put these ones in here. These ones I feel are so special because that Rockstar Barbie fashion pack, it's one of the best sets ever. I, I mean, I keep talking about it. I can't believe it. I might have to buy another one of them. Maybe I will just to keep in box and to keep showing you guys. I think only Canada has gotten it so far. And I saw it somewhere that was really unusual. Oh, yeah, I saw it at Toys, Toys, Toys in Canada, which is kind of weird because it is so new. And I saw it at Toys R Us. And it's just this awesome Barbie. And she comes with a, 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 a tube dress. And she comes with this mesh dress, this pink mesh dress. And then she comes with another outfit with a black T-shirt and a blue shiny skirt. And she's got a guitar. And she's got two changes of shoes and it's it's a really awesome set if you haven't checked out that video definitely check it out it's another epic barbie opening and it's one of the best barbie sets of all time better than any of the barbie and the rocker sets that i've ever seen it's super awesome he likes it this guy likes it she really liked it she thought it was rock and roll um, a Goodwill, a new box wonder, and a, oh, Life on a Yo-Yo got, at Goodwill, a new box wonder woman. Oh, that's awesome. I love when I find brand new toys at Goodwill. 
because they're usually a great price. For three dollars, the one with the bow. Oh, that's a sweet one. That's pretty cool. If not, you can pull rip off her head and put it on another body. Um, look for Laura Croft and Mira Barbies on sale. Oh, I definitely will do that. I will always buy those if I find them on sale. I haven't seen Aquaman either. I'm going to definitely have to see that Aquaman. I have... You know what? I don't like that guy. <laughs> that guy that everybody likes? I think he's too, like, large for me to enjoy. Like, I would just probably be freaking freaked out by him. Like, he looks like a monster. He should play like a monster characters, like the Hulk or something. I don't think I don't think Aquaman should be a monster. That's what I'm trying to say here. Aquaman has always been like a slender, like kind of blonde character, like kind of like maybe nerdier. So for that giant man to be playing Aquaman is kind of weird for me. But I know that everybody likes him. I don't even know what his name is. Um, there is a new movie I want to see. Well, what is it, Heather? Why don't you tell us? Thanks for the likes, Vanessa. You guys are giving lots of great likes today. I like Wonder Woman. I like Wonder Woman, too. She's awesome. And I never saw that movie yet, either. Can you believe that? Jason, imagine what would Al do if he freaks out about Woody, Buzz, and the other toys teaching him a lesson after stealing Woody and seeing them. Do you have any ideas? Um, no, but... Mr. Pigeon, I definitely have to watch those three movies again before I watch the other ones because I really forget all that happened in them. And I guess I haven't seen them enough because I, I might have only seen... Oh, yeah, Jason Momoa. You know, um, Trisha always talks about him. And I'm like, oh, whatever, Jason Momoa. <laughs> whatever. Am I jealous, do you think, of Jason Momoa? No. I would never want to be a monster. Then at Walmart, Barbie fashionista, oh wait, Life on EOU at Tuesday morning from a wrinkle in time, Mrs. What's It for $25, $24 and two WWE Superstar Sasha pack and WWE Alexa pack for $9.99. Oh, okay, those are sweet finds. Those um, Wrinkle in Time ones are very deluxe. You know what? I really liked watching. I really liked reading Wrinkle in Time. I remember that's one of the few books that I read when I was a kid. And I remember really liking it and thinking it was awesome. I tried to watch the movie and I did not like it. I did not like it at all. And it did not remind me anything of... I couldn't even remember why I liked the book. Well, that's just my... All I, I do know that those dolls look amazing, though. They're such good quality, and they have, like, amazing, intricate dresses and stuff. Then at Walmart, she got Barbie Fashionista 109, The Last Barbie Skipper Baby Boy, and Toddler Pack. I love those toddler packs. I was gonna That was going to be the video that I was going to do today. I was going to open up my last, um, the Dark Complected Toddler Pack, and then I was going to bring in my other toddler packs. But I guess that is a video that I'm going to do in the upcoming future. Well, I don't know, because it's Easter week, so I do have to do a lot of Easter blind bags and Easter openings. I have a lot of bunny toys around here. I am talking so much, but I have a lot to say. And I have a lot of bunny and Easter toys that I should probably jump out and find. His name is Jason Samoa, the Aquaman monster. Oh, yeah, <laughs> you called him a monster, too. I can't wait until Walmart has them little packs. You get like purses and stuff in them. Oh, like the blind boxes. What did I do with mine? Oh, I think I have it in my Easter basket. Those are fun. If you're talking about the little the blind bag box ones, those are pretty awesome. And thanks for the likes, guys. You guys are great. Um, I can't wait until. Oh, I read that. Um, it's Momoa, not Samoa. <laughs> Um, I thought it was Momoa too, not Samosa. Can I call him Jason Samosa? Because he just eats too many samosas. Mrs. What's It has made to move knees. Oh, that's awesome. Rip her head off. Um, I love rabbits. Yeah, bunnies are cute. Bunnies are pretty cute animals. All right, so these go in my shoe box. Let's add these. I mean, these shoes from today are pretty sweet. Anything translucent, translucent toys are like, 
I totally freak out over. Whoa. So, but they're way too small, so they have to go into this box of teeny tiny little shoes that can't fit on anybody. They can fit on these girls, some curvy girls. I am not going to be able to find... There are no WWEs that match this skin tone, unfortunately. And... Do you think Nikki... Do you think Nikki should get a body? Hmm. I don't have a Nikki yet. I don't think I do. But this is the right skin tone. So Alicia Fox might get a Nikki head. What do you guys think about that? Think that's a good idea? I have real ones. You want an Aquaman like um, Legolas Ken? What? This is kind of a Legolas Ken. Um, nice. I have a lot of them shoes. I have a lot of those shoes too. I would love my collection of shoes. Um, you would I though? Do you have a collection of WWE shoes? Because those are the ones that I would like. Unfortunately, the pumps are the best ones because they're the most versatile. Unfortunately, her extra shoes are a pair of work boots, and then she's got a pair of black boots on. So those aren't that useful. And then she just comes with... These are actually thinner, dressier boots. So these actually can be useful. So at least those shoes are good. But I have gotten some good silver shoes. Which I probably have on some other dollies right now. Okay. So... Ah! Oh, oh! This is my alternative accessory box so all of my sunglasses belts fanny packs necklaces bracelets all go in here so that's where i put in the headband look at all that look at all those crazy things oh and these are my real wait how come i have those i guess those are my tiny miscellaneous accessories and these are my career accessories and hats there's a lot of hats. I guess you could consider this jewelry, and this is accessories. Do we like the red hat? It doesn't match. It doesn't match my hat as much as the other hat. So, and am I going to put the Toy Story stuff away now? Or am I going to dress them up in Toy Story clothes again? I think I'm going to keep my Toy Story clothes out again because you might see that revisited in another video real soon. I might have to dress them up in them again. But skirts and tops need to go away. And then I have this jacket here that needs to go away. Oh, here is the skirt bucket right now. Have you guys seen this skirt? This is such a cool skirt. It looks like a designer skirt. It's really cool. Um, you um um I related related Maven because of the dolls animation. I rented Welcome to Marwin because of the dolls animation. I don't know what that is. I'll have to look at that. I might have to look that up. I have no idea what that is. Um, cute Jason. I love sunglasses. Oh yeah, me too. Not to wear them. I don't usually wear sunglasses because especially in the summertime, because I don't want to get a suntan weird. I think I have more way stuff than that, Jason. You do? I need bigger totes. I just had to split everything up because my totes were too small to keep all my stuff in. Are you getting the long hair brunette fashionista with unicorn dress, blue and peach? Her glasses are cool. Unicorn dress, blue and peach. Is it the girl who has the, the cut down, the really long hair and the cut down all the way down? I'll only get her if she's on sale. If I find her at if I find her at Treasure Hunt and she's like five dollars. Because she doesn't have like crazy, she's not crazy. I usually like to only get the crazy ones. But I mean they're all nice. 
I'm excited about prosthetic leg girl, which I'm not going to be trading her body, obviously, because her highlight is her prosthetic leg. And a lot of the other ones. And, of course, the braided hair girl one is awesome, too. Sorry, just joined it. What kind of dolls is the mini you? This is... <laughs> yeah, thanks for the likes. Thanks for joining. This is Superman's body. Um, a WWE cap. Um, Owen's head. You know, your standard Barbie glasses. And a fashion pack shorts. That's that's this guy, and he thanks you for your likes. And that's what he's made out of. All right. Okay. Okay, I have to find the top box. Here is um here's the dress box. I think I better put this dress into the dress box too. Um, pencil skirts are cool. Pencil skirts are the best. Thanks, Ken Kenneth Carson. You don't mind if I call you Ken Kenneth Carson, do you? Um, everybody is in love with hybrid Wolverine. Hybrid <laughs> Wolverine. He's a good one. I like he turned out so well. And I just and I also really like how hybrid He-Man here. I like how I was able to change his hands so easily, which makes me think maybe I should pick up another Batman. Oh, yeah. Because Batman is much cheaper than Superman. Superman, I think, is $30 or $40 at this one store in Canada, in Ontario, Canada. And Batman, Batman's body, is $20. So $20 is pretty good, especially by what... Some of you have been telling me the prices are going for on eBay right now. So I probably should take advantage that there are so many of them in Canada that are readily available. I should probably buy all kinds of them and sell them and be a scalper. But I don't really like to do that. And plus, when I buy toys, I have a hard time parting with them. I just want to keep them all. You can see behind me. Um, gotta go. Have a wonderful, fun birthday tomorrow, Jason. Thank you so much, Stephen. Don't forget to leave, tag me or leave a message or come back here and leave a message on one of my other videos and let me know what your Instagram handle is. Wait a minute. Let me see if I can guess. It is Steve Anthony. Stephen Anthony. And then there's a number. And there's a seven in that number. But I think that if I put in Stephen Anthony, I would probably get it. That was pretty good. That is some of my best memory ever. And I'm not a good memorier. I'm not a good memorier. Not even good English or speaking or. Wow. I got some of my favorite, some of my favorite um, WWE custom Barbie made the moves here they all have look at how awesome her hair is look at how awesome her hair is these have the best hair ever look how awesome they look holy they're cool it's more thunder thanks for the likes guys okay 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 what else can i put away i'm looking for shirts i haven't found my shirt bucket yet okay so there's all of these ones and then there's the shoe box and then there's these WWE dolls. So that is where this girl's going in here because this is my collection of two, three, four, five, my five favorite 2019 ones that I've gotten so far. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's too hunky, by the way. And here are my career. These are my Barbie and the Rockers get day jobs. Do we want to put this jacket on her? 
I don't know. Anna wants me to use this jacket, but I don't really want to cover her up. I kind of like I kind of like how she looks just like this. So yeah, I, I don't think I can I don't think I can put that jacket on her. I'm sorry, Anna. All right, so Barbie and the Rockers go back in there. With Barbie and the Rockers get day jobs, and then the twenty. Um, 19 fashionistas they're gonna go back in here because that box gets they get their own box and then right here this box we're gonna put in the new or they're not new but they're undressed fashionistas and I guess this is also where I'm going to keep all of the doctors and nurses for the head swapping videos because they'll need to come out and help us every time. Oh, and look, I've got more accessories here. The glasses I'm going to put on Alexa Bliss. They're thinner. They're so much thinner than the other ones kind of weird having a hard time here having a hard time putting them on um it's gonna happen We're losing i'm losing a lot of people okay it's getting way too late and there's a lot of people going so and and i mean i'm just cleaning up and yeah it's just getting tired and crazy so I am going to say goodbye. We're all going to say goodbye. Thanks so much for joining me tonight for this two hour and 22 minute extravaganza of all kinds of toys. These aren't any of the toys we reviewed today, but it's okay because they're kind of my mascots. Thank you so much for coming by. Um, hopefully I'll be back tomorrow with a big toy haul, but hopefully also I won't have a big toy haul tomorrow. Love you guys so much. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Too Hunky.